The new Disney Plus trailer that was shown during the Super Bowl showed off quite a bit of new information. There was Scarlet Witch in her comic book accurate costume, Sam Wilson using Captain America's shield, Bucky holding a gun to Baron Zemo's head, and Loki being locked in a time prison. But there's also a lot of huge comic book connections that most people might have missed that could hint at the stories each series is going to tell. The footage from WandaVision came fast, a montage of moments from the series in which both Scarlet Witch and Vision look extremely different in each version. Wanda Maximoff struggles with their own reality, thrusts herself into these sitcom-like scenarios with the now-dead Vision. This series, with Wanda's reality-warping powers seemingly on full display, and the fact that she's gearing up to join the multiverse-focused Doctor Strange sequel, certainly has the potential to blow some minds. We had heard that WandaVision was going to have the aesthetic of old TV sitcoms, and this is confirmed with all the different eras we see Wanda in, each with their respective look. It starts off with the 50s, followed by her 70s look, and then the 80s slash early 90s, and finally the present day. We also get to see her wearing the comic accurate version of her Scarlet Witch outfit. This is a show that's also, hopefully, going to get more into Wanda Maximoff and her backstory in a way that the Marvel Cinematic Universe has all but ignored. Now that Disney and Marvel have acquired the X-Men, we could see Wanda slowly spiral into insanity and possibly create a reverse House of M. The House of M was when Wanda created an alternate reality after she lost her children and almost completely eradicated the mutants from the Marvel Universe. This could be how the mutants are introduced, as instead of getting rid of them, she could create them. This is also backed by the fact that in another scene we see Wanda and Vision standing over two cribs as pacifiers come flying out, clearly hinting that Wanda's comic book twins, Billy Kaplan and Tommy Shepard, or Wiccan and Speed, will make an appearance. Speed has powers similar to Scarlet's brother Quicksilver, while Wiccan has magical abilities more like his mother. It could also confirm the rumor that Hulkling appears in the series. What's also interesting here is how similar the premise of the show aligns itself with Tom King's run of Vision comics. WandaVision was originally going to be released in 2021, but has been pushed forward and given a December 2020 window. If you're enjoying the video, consider liking or subscribing. It really supports the channel and lets me know you're enjoying this type of content. We might have only gotten a 30 second trailer covering 3 shows, but let me know which show you're most excited for. The show we probably know the most about, The Falcon and Winter Soldier, gives us Sam Wilson training with the Captain America shield, and we also see his new suit, which appears to have a place for the shield on his back, and the red and white colors seem to be a nod to Falcon's original comic book design. We also get to see Bucky Barnes confronting Baron Zemo, and a glimpse at John Walker, aka US agent played by Wyatt Russell, take on the shield at a football game, giving a high five to a halftime performer. Walker's inclusion in the series had recently been spotted in set pictures, and it looks like he's going to be, as we'd expect, positioned as a more state-sponsored successor to Captain America, complete with a return to the character's original patriotic theatrics that will surely contrast with Sam's more Steve-like and approved approach to the mantle after Steve's falling out with authority, and we're ready to see Sam fight to show what Captain America really stands for. Real name, John Walker. He started off as the supervillain Super Patriot, basically a corporation-built superhero meant to replace Captain America, before taking on the name US Agent in the comics. But before that, Walker also took on the mantle of Captain America after Steve Rogers' death. How the character will fit into the Disney Plus series remains unknown, but the Falcon and the Winter Soldier show will debut this August. Filming on Loki has barely begun, yet we've already had a quick glimpse of where the God of Mischief has found himself. Locked up by a mysterious organization whose initials are TVA. Comic book fans will recognize those letters as standing for Time Variance Authority, a group who monitor what people are doing in various timelines. They often take action to stop people from creating timelines that are too dangerous, or prevent people from going back and forth in time. How they'll play into Loki remains to be seen, but notice how the logo's letters change between different time periods. This could mean Loki will travel to different dimensions or time periods, and if what he says comes true and he destroys the TVA or alters the timeline, he could open the door for time-traveling villains like Kang the Conqueror to emerge. All we know is the series takes place after the events of Avengers Endgame, and seeing as Loki died in Infinity War but hopped into another timeline in Endgame, I can't wait to see how this time-tangling situation plays out. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you'll never miss another video. Thanks for watching, and remember, that with great power comes great responsibility.